Hey guys, take a moment to watch the video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Face ID not working on your iPhone on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. So when it comes to Face ID, the very first thing you want to verify is that if you recently put on a new screen protector and a Face ID isn't working, most likely that screen protector, you have to remove that because that's interfering with the front camera here. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your, again, screen here right above here where the camera is isn't blocked by anything if there's a case or something that's blocking it you'll need to remove it and also along with that you want to ensure that this is cleaned as well if you have a microfiber cloth you want to simply wipe it down so there's no dust or debris or something that could be potentially getting in the way of face id working as well so those are a couple things to keep in mind now other things to keep in mind is that if you recently or change your glasses or if you have new facial hair or if you're wearing a mask or anything covering your face that can also interfere with face ID so remove that and try to see if that works for you now after you have done those and it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone and this time you're gonna to go to find face ID and passcode go ahead and enter your passcode here now once you have that you want to verify that if you're looking to use it for a certain feature you want to ensure these toggles are on if you're using it for unlocking your iphone itunes wallet or password autofill sometimes if you have third-party apps it will list other apps right underneath you want to click on it and verify those apps have access to your wallet along with these settings as well if you're going to be using some of these settings so important to check out those settings here now after you have done that and it's still not working it's time to do a forced restart on your iphone now, in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release volume down, and then finally hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. So in order to do that, I'm going to do volume up, volume down, one after another, and then I hold the side button. And this is known as a force restart, which shuts down the software of the phone, and after it turns out, we'll reload the code. And during this process, none of your data will be lost. So as you can see here, I'm still holding to that side button. And the screen went black, that's fine. Once I see the Apple logo, I let go of that side button here. Make sure again, volume up, volume down, one after another really quick. If Siri activates, that means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough. So make sure you press those quickly and then hold that side button here. So we wait till the phone again turns up normally and then we're gonna go back into our phone, put in our passcode here. And hopefully after that, you can lock it again and see if Face ID is working. And if it is working, you're good to go. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone. Again, this time you're going to go to Face ID and Passcode. Go ahead and enter the passcode. And then you're going to want to reset your Face ID and then set it up again. And you click on Reset here. That's fine. And then just go ahead and set it up again. The reason why you want to set it up again is especially if you recently had any face structure changes or if you got new glasses right anything could have possibly changed and it's good to just start fresh and create a new face ID so you can start using it again also consider setting up any alternative face ID as well if you you'll see an option with that ability after you set up your regular pa uh, face ID and also if you have a mask you can also use that as a mask with face ID as well if you are using your mask now after you have done those things the next thing to do if it's still not working is go ahead into your setting of your iPhone go to general software update and look to see if there's a software update available sometimes updates happen and a previous update might have caused issues like a face id not to work so make sure your phone is up to date with the latest software update when you do update your phone make sure you give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to update it and also your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged and connected to a good strong wi-fi or cellular data finally if it's not working after that you want to go into your setting of your iphone go to general go all the way down where it says transfer reset iphone then click on the first option for reset and you're going to want to reset all settings so when you reset all settings it's not going to delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps or anything like that but it will reset things like network related settings so save the wi-fi passwords uh bluetooth connected devices any of the keyboard dictionary that you have added any custom home screen layout and any settings around location and privacy will get reset and you'll have to reset them again but again no personal data will be lost and it's something you'll need to do if you're still having issues with face id lastly if none of this has worked another thing you can do which involves a little bit more step is backing up your iphone doing a factory reset and then restoring it again that same copy that you did a backup now that process takes a little bit of time you can look up the video in our channel we'll leave a link for that video in either the description section or the comment section so you can follow along with that video 
Lastly, if even after doing all of that and it hasn't worked, most likely there is a damage to the front facing camera and that might be a hardware related issue. In that case, you'll need to take it to uh, authorize Apple repair shop where they can take a look at it or the Apple store so they can diagnostic and really figure out if it really is the hardware that's causing the issue. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make a like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.